day we be grinding And if you ask me, we the best I'ma be like Yo, that's us with the crazy flow And you gon' hear us on the radio This is how we do every day We be grinding And if you wanna come and test us I'ma be like Yo, that's us with the crazy flow And you gon' hear us on the radio When I'm spitting all these What's up, fellas? Therapy is in session because this thing is therapeutic, man. All right, this is Coach KK coming back at you with some more of this good stuff. This is Volume 1, Part 13. Gun split slot, slot offset. All right, so I already got the green light from my guy, Mark Pryor. He said this thing is not boring because I asked, you know, hey, man, are you guys getting tired of the gun split slot videos with the RPO peak zone bubble? You're like, nah, man, keep it coming. Because you always gonna have some new fresh insight and stuff for us. So yeah, that's what I got going on right here. And here we go. If you're new around here and you, or you've been a fly on the wall for quite some time, these are the audibles. This is a split formation. It's a gun split formation. So we want to make sure that both running backs are heavily featured in the audibles. Okay. They can both get a handoff. We have a read option. We have swing routes to both sides. Um, RPOs to both sides depending on you know in that way we don't have to flip the formation over we have screen passes high and low reads cover two splitters all of that good stuff so here we go he's in that triangle shell starting right off the bat comeback route perfect perfect throw well timed if you watch the last video if you haven't watched the last video you should if you have watched it you should watch it again the video that I posted right before this it explained this in some quite detail on the difference between this video this is in action now i'm not just stripping plays from certain games this is one whole game right here so you get to see this when i do it and when i didn't do it you know what i'm saying so he's in that um one high safety shell once again and he did a good job by getting guys underneath that route and knocked me off my square so i had to go elsewhere and i wasn't prepared for that so i give him credit for that that was a great um play call right there so third play of the game he's in a two high safety shell okay so there you go he's running a lot of zone coverage because he's waiting on that pass and we ran right at him that's what that's that's the significance of this formation right here that's the benefit you get from setting audibles in the beginning of your drive because just you just never know on the fly you might have to change things up so um as you can see the left side of the field is wide open, so it's time to hit him with the swing pass. Swing left is what I call it. <laughs> it's called RPO read bubble, but I call it swing left. Um, if, in the Green Bay Packers and Arizona Cardinals playbook, you don't have the luxury to swing left and swing right. All of the RPO auto motion plays or the auto motion plays are going to one side in those other playbooks. I think in yeah, Green Bay Packers, they're all going to the right. And I think same thing for Arizona Cardinals too. All the auto motions are going to the right. But in the spread playbook, you had a luxury to go left and right. So that's that. As you can see, um, it's one-on-one -on -one out there on the left side again. And I see this dude moving with his linebacker. So I, I know he was going to chase him. So that's why I tried to get through that gap real quick. So the ball is on the right side of the hash marks. If you look at the wide side left, you see a lot of room between the safety and the receiver versus the near side right there's not that much room so i'm gonna test this route out once again because the safety will have more room to run over there he won't get there in time no one lurks underneath and we get a perfect spiral pitch and catch all right so that's two catches for that young man out there above 15 to 20 yards i think it's in between 15 and 20 yards that you got to catch got to catch like three of them and then he'll be activated and when that guy gets activated he turns into a monster I mean Godzilla out here <laughs> now I don't chase the activations I don't chase the um, X factors you go out there tr playing the game trying to chase X factors man you're gonna pay the price you're gonna pay the price you you gonna mess around and shoot yourself in the foot and and be focusing on getting X factors you won't you'll forget that you got to score touchdowns out here man so I never do that I let it come to me naturally and I just happen to find a route that I'm comfortable with that's pretty much guaranteed 15 to 20 yards. So that's two catches out there. So here we go right here. I'm just trying to maneuver him off his square. I noticed this guy's not really playing on the back end back there. He's on the defensive line every single down. And when you're not 
on the back end, you're not helping out with the support in the passing game. You know, you're not giving your computer AI any help right there. You need to be back there roaming. So that's why I took a chance and tried him with fourth down. Look, at he playing patty cake on the D-line. Look at this. I burnt them, but Jalen Ramsey has the awareness. So the rounds, man, they are loaded and equipped with awareness, um, abilities, and all the physical attributes and stuff. So they're loaded out there. So you really do got to um, bring your A game playing against the rounds and stuff. But depending on what user it is, you know that that factors in too so yeah this guy he 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 got the ball back he got a first down or whatever and then after that he couldn't really do nothing because like i say here we go right here once again left side wide side left plenty of room ball was thrown before anybody made a break <laughs> godzilla is here let's get it all right so like i say though he's not on the d he's not on the d backs he's on the defensive line all day long you know this is the third drive of the game and he's still playing on the d-line he hasn't made no adjustments back there so if you ask me i kind of put these guys in a lower skill level category you know one-on-one -on -one. got him get on son junior pup little dog <laughs> yeah if you ask me man i put these guys in a lower skill level bracket and you can determine a person's skill level within the first two drives usually i mean look at this man it's just cloudy vision for him <laughs> i'm back there in the back end on my defense you know i'm i'm a support mine i don't know about you guys so yeah there there we go once again so i got the i got the wide side right this time that's why i'm running the comeback route that way so third drive he finally got him a sack he finally got a sack after all that everybody let's give a round of applause Woo! <laughs> there you go once again playing patty cake though back to playing patty cake while i'm out here making it shape <laughs> hey let's go making it quake all right one-on-one -on -one, man dk lit up it's called double me better get some help over there so right here i wanted to throw a fade route all right but i say you know what i don't he done caught the ball so many times that man might be over there finally so we got him following swing route still he don't forgot about dk still he still don't care about him so my man's 6'3 don't don't you forget that he is 6'3 over here and what's going on is i want to make sure that he's not a user lurker over there on that safety because if he go over there and lurk the fade route for dk because i want to go to dk hey this is one-on-one -on -one aggressive automatic touchdown if he don't lurk over the top i'm taking a shot okay if he do bite down and go in there i'm throwing the ball away so fortunately for me he left it one-on-one -on -one again so um you gotta learn how to adjust on the fly playing playing this game and stuff and look at me i'm i'm out here supporting my people user there you go y'all um be on the lookout for another user pick video i know you guys like those um i didn't never really have faith in the user pick videos but you guys seem to love those and i think i have more comments on those videos than any videos so <laughs> that's how that thing goes sometimes so here we go wide side right dk airborne got him <laughs> come on man that was like taking candy from a baby man you should have known I was going in that era before halftime. I ain't worried about no field goal, man. Notice, guys, I'm out here pump faking, too. I think pump faking um, is, is beneficial. I, I do it all the time, every chance I get, man. Sometimes you can move that guy off his square. Like, he can't move me off my square. User. <laughs> so, yeah, be on the lookout for another user pick video, man. Yeah, I like pump faking. I've moved the guy plenty of times, especially on on double moves like that z spot and go go check out my video called z spot and go you'll see what i'm saying and it looked like he's out this is coach kk i'm out too see ya this is how we do it every day we be grinding and if you ask me we the best i'm gonna be like yeah. yo that's us with the crazy flow yeah. and you gonna hear us on the radio this is how we do every day